Whenever I talk to schools, you know, on acting, I always say try and volunteer if you can because this business is just so hard. You mm -hmm. know, your self-worth is about whether you're working or not working. And if you have something else that bring, makes you feel worthy, then it won't beat you up as much. The rejection won't hurt as much. So you podcast. I do, yes. Breaking Broadway? Yes, yes, yes. Because um, I don't know if you get this, but my biggest question that I get asked on Instagram or all the time at the stage door or whatever was how can I make it to Broadway? You know, And so I made a whole podcast mm -hmm. filled with tips for people on how to make it Broadway. So I have casting directors, directors. Um, Amazing. Yeah, I have a new season coming out, and that's kind of... That's third season, right? Yeah, and it's um, how do we do eight shows a week? And I don't get like my famous friends, I kind of get people with interesting stories that yeah. I, I think, like I have a person who teaches me Pilates. <laughs> She's from France and she wants to be a dancer on Broadway. And it's just like interesting to nice. me. And She's helping, she helped me and she's getting over an injury. So I think she can help people, you know. But I do have, I have Angie Shore on, you know, yeah. dancer extraordinaire who's been in a million shows too. So I kind of bounce it, I balance it out that way. You're listening to the Broadway Podcast Network.